no matter how angry a dogoma man is, you can't do a Muslim man anything. Kindly go to YouTube and subscribe to the Village Muslim. Don't forget to click the bell button. Assalamu alaikum. Just yesterday, I posted a video about Guruma people versus Kotokuli people. And the comment session was overwhelming. A lot of people were commenting. Guruma people claiming to be the masters while Kotokuli people are slaves. And then the Kotokuli people are also claiming to be the masters while Guruma people are slaves. This is not only between Guruma and Kotokuli people. It exists between a lot of tribes in Ghana, especially the, nord the tribes in the northern region of Ghana where one tribe claimed to be the masters and other tribe to be, to be the slaves and this you can also find it between the gombes and the mosi people people where the gombes claim that they were the masters mosi people are just slaves and then mosi people say hey, come on for that we were we were your masters and you were slaves so stop talking that rubbish so it's kind of like a form of play that existed this could be traced to our history as Kotokoli and Grumes, how we help each other and now we are using it as a play. And between the Gomez and Mozibu, they also trace back to their history, how they help each other and today they are using it as a form of play. Man, this kind of play, it's like a play that almost annihilates or destroys any sense of hatred or any fight between these two tribes. The reason is, if Kotokoli are having an issue with Guruma people and then they are taking it to the chief, so that the chief will go and deal with the issue. The chief will not listen to Kotokoli people and say, ah, the group of people, yeah, if we take it there, they will tease us, we can't handle this issue. So they will leave the issue, they will step on it and everything will come down. The same way when a group of person gets an angry and he talks, he's going to do this to Kotokoli people, his own people will reject whatever he says. He say, hey, shut up. If we do that, we will disgrace ourselves. This will use it against us. So the, the, the issue will drop, you understand? The same way when you look at the issue between Moses and the Dagombas, the Dagomba person cannot do the Moses person, no matter how angry a Dagomba man is. He cannot do a Moses man anything. So the, if he say he want to do Moses person, his own family members will reject it. He said, don't do anything, no. If you do, Moses will use it against us. The same way Moses will cannot do anything to the Dagombas. So this sense of love, this sense of play has existed between two tribes, different, different tribes, especially the northern part of Ghana, that people use it to, to tease each other. And you know, we are your masters, you are a slave, you are your master. And, and Charlie, it's, it's so amazing. And it breeds a sense of love between people to the extent that you can't even have any qualms or any war between these two tribes. There's no day you can ever have, inshallah. There's no day a Dagoma man will ever take arms that is going to war with uh, Mosi people. It can't exist. That is the same way Guruma people will never take any weapon and say they are going to fight Kotokoli people. It cannot exist. Why? Because there's this sense of history and this sense of master and slavery and what, what, what between them. So they, can, they almost cannot do anything to each other. And it's so amazing. One guy commented under one the post that, see, he has read through all the comments and there was no insults. There was no, there was no anyone getting angry over anyone. It was just full of play and it's so amazing. Amazing. And so I want to say that this is such an amazing trait in African culture which anyone could also copy and emulate and it's, it's, it has a great level of benefit. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Kindly go to YouTube and subscribe to The Village Muslim. Don't forget to click the bell button.